Poker in mic? Or do I need it in my mouth? Okay, for sure. But anyways, what's popping everybody? Long time no see. I had a six or seven month hiatus, and here I am. Back at it again. It's, it's your boy, Squish Squash, formerly known as Squ uh, SGB Squishy. Uh, back at it again, doing some more commentating. We're here with Dave Greed, one of my personal friends, against uh, Cycle Dawkins. One thing that I really do like to see coming back after a long time of just not being here is just new faces period I've I have not seen who Psycho Dawkins in but he not only does he seem to be doing pretty well he, it's just nice to see a new face um, I don't really know much about Ludwig here but I do know that uh, like he does it hard it's just a bit like this character is just weird um, a lot of people, different people play him differently, but he is a very trap based character at the end of it all. And it, it just seems that uh, Dankery just is struggling right now with all these traps. He doesn't really seem to know a good way to shut down Ludwig here. Um, I haven't seen too much of the match to really know what, honestly what's going on. Ooh, low battery. Low battery. But. but Oh, you're passing me chat? Sick. Sub Zosha, we are back. We're back at it again, brother. Um, yeah, so, an interesting thing about Ludwig here, or any of the other Koopa kids, is the bomb. The the little, little uh, what is it called? The mini Koopas? The tiny little bombs that you get a drop down. They're just really good projectiles, and they cover so much ground. It's really hard to consistently deal with them. I think what uh, Dink Reed really needs to do, I think this, like, this match is definitely winnable. Every match is winnable, but this is just a very uphill battle. Uh, Dengri definitely needs to start um, thinking to himself how to shut down those um, the, those bombs before they even uh, start taking space. Because all they need to do is just tap you once and they explode. They just do so much pressure, they take so much uh, stage control, and it's just kind of hard to deal with unless you just straight up pick them up or you shut them down. Most projectiles do shut it down, but, you know, sometimes it's like... You need to do a little bit more. You need to think more proactively with it. Play around it better. Because, honestly, Cycle Dawkins uh, is doing a pretty good job of throwing it down and then just reacting to what Dink Reed was doing. Especially at the end there. Just waiting for him to do jumps. Uh, Dink Reed definitely looked flustered, so he was just kind of getting hit by them at the end of it all. Yeah, Cycle did win. It's... It's, um... Like, it... it for someone who's unexperienced with this matchup, or just doesn't recognize what is happening in the game, especially in the moment, it happens to everyone. It's kind of hard to really put it together. Uh, but I think this, like, I think he needs to take a moment here. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say he needs to take a moment there to really think about the match before he even goes back into it. But he's just feeling confident. If he want, if if Dan Greek thinks that he can, you know, bring this back, then by all means, do it. Um, I like this map. I think I like this map pick overall, giving you two platforms more centered. The, the map is a lot smaller uh, with two platforms that are just closer to center, which just gives you, especially PT, just so much movement and so much space to do what they want. Um, and also doesn't allow uh, the Koopa Kids here, Ludwig, to set up on top platforms, but it doesn't really matter when you just kind of get like that. The interesting thing about Koopa Kids again is when you are out of um, when you're just out of your cart and you do that back air, it does so much damage. It is such a good kill confirm, and you'll see Koopa Kids go for it so often. It is like one of their best kill confirms. It's not like one of their few kill confirms. It's one of the things that Koopa Kids do struggle with is just killing. Period. They do have really good movement and they have really good um, just like fast aerials, but they struggle to kill a lot of the time. Um, they do have a good job of zoning, although some characters will just do it better. But, like, it, we're just seeing just complete control of the map and complete awareness. A lot of trapping is just being placed. Oh, nice upbeat. Just great reaction. Finally, finally recognizing um, how unsafe that is on shield if you do not hop out of it. Uh, that was probably just a misplay by... Well, that was just a misplay. I'm all through. But he need, I, I think Dinkery really needs to start respecting these items a lot more. 
Uh, you can shut down the cannonball by just straight up hitting it. Uh, just with any aerial, and he he is playing Ivysaur overall. He's playing the the, the the Pokemon trainer, so any all Pokemon's have like really good aerials to just shut everything down. And what a what a stock this is! Oh my god! Oh, no way that kills! Oh thank God! But what a what an insane comeback this has been for for Dink Greed. He went from being at like a hundred kill percent to now. Being in contention for taking the stock lead, if anything. Percent. Oh, no, no. Up, up smash out of shield. Yeah, just landing, just landing there, not really doing anything. Maybe trying to go for, like, a Tomahawk, but just a little too late. Alright. Psycho Dawkins. He, this is one thing that I'm noticing right away, is just the fact that Dinkery is having such a hard time dealing with his recoveries, just with that side B. You can hit him out of that. You do need a strong enough move for it, or you can just wait for it. Just wait for the bounce. Just give him that little bit of space, and try not to contest it completely, respect it, and instead go for something um, something a lot more consistent for after. Because we, we haven't really been seeing what Cycle Dawkins likes to do after, um, after that jump. There's no way that kills. Yeah, yeah. That, there's no way. <laughs> but we don't really get to see what Cycle well, really good up smash. We don't really get to see what Cycle Dawkins likes to be like his habit is after the jump. Ooh, really bad spacing. And that's that's the stock. That's the that's the game. That was a that was a complete shutdown of a complete two oh uh, by Cycle Dawkins there. Um doing it he honestly doing a really good